whole purpose of this specifically within everything that I do, right? The YouTube channel, the content that I put out, all the collaborations I do, all the services I provide. Um, I'm officially starting uh, a church, right? But it's not going to be like what we're used to seeing, how a, your typical church is set up. This is an ecclesia, which literally means a political cabinet of authorized members who have been appointed, anointed by the king, by the father, right? So all of us who get saved, born again, right? You 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 went through that pathway, you, you're, bap- you're believing in the word, you're reading the word. Well, then there comes a point where God calls you into a place for you to do a thing according to his will. And I and the purpose of this gathering is to figure out what each and every individual's purpose is according to the king's will and how we can exercise that as a community where we're coming together in commonwealth or we call kingdom commonwealth coming together to figure out exactly how we can help each other and how we can grow our wealth together where no one man or woman owns the asset rather all of us control operate manage and steward the assets the cash flow the resources the tools right the content but the ownership is all held up in the father's hands the creator the manufacturer right our almighty now the reason why this is so important is from a jurisdictional standpoint right from a from a law jurisdiction perspective as well as the spiritual perspective and a tax perspective where if we can figure out how to combine all of our resources together all of our time talent and treasures our gifts and have the protection from the united states which is in their tax code have the protection from them but also protection from god because we're saying god you own it all it is all yours and so because it's all yours and in your word it says that you know we're that you want us to have dominion right rulership right and authority over what is yours right you want us to manage and steward it and multiply the fruit that's that's your original intent for us here on planet earth but in order to properly exercise that we have got to figure out really how to create wealth in the man created government systems that we live in today i i think that's that's key we have our faith side which is unquestioned right so this group is not meant to question your faith in terms of like how you believe um, what church you go to what doctrine we're not really going to be we're not going to discuss that Um, i'm coming from a perspective of faith and so are you and we'll have different ways that we express our faith right some shout some speak in tongues some get on their knees some put up some lay a carpet down some have a uh what do you call those things an altar in their own in their own home and they light incest incest and all this stuff no one's questioning that here that's not the point the the point really is to figure out how we can actually with all our all of our diversities how can we potentially come together as one body right and provide real solutions for people day in and day out i have some of my business partners here sebastian boyer alex alboran Right. And I'll have others that most of, you know, um, uh, Brittany Green, Steve Parisi with Infinite Banking. Um, and I'm actually going to be putting on some new services. So we're going to discuss that a little bit. But to give you the breakdown right now that I just talked about the Ecclesia gathering, what we're doing, we're gathering on the first last Friday of every month, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, I will say that the first Friday coming up in September. Uh, There won't be a gathering because I will be in uh, Orlando for a conference. So I won't be available for that. But the preceding months, we should get on a good flow here, right? So here is the breakdown, the structure of what you're seeing, right? And, And eventually, this will be a physical location, right? All the things that you see me do online, you'll see me actually do in a physical location, recording. The whole nine will be set up. It'll be really cool. So the Ecclesia gathering, right? That's that political cabinet. This is us, the body, right? Gathering. We're authorized. We're, we're growing not only in our faith, but we're growing in our business. We're, we're learning velocity banking, 
infinite banking, you're putting policies in place, you're knocking out debt extremely fast, you're building your careers, you're uh, building a business. And here is a place where you can be held accountable, ask questions, right? Um, and grow from there. The Finance Geek Ministry is a faith based organization, and it'll be structured as, if you want to take notes, it'll be structured as a 508C1A, Title 26 of the United States Code. If you were to look that up, Title 26, 508C1A, we are a separate entity, a separate jurisdiction outside of commercial jurisdiction, meaning the IRS, Federal Reserve, United States government, literally has no authority, no jurisdiction over what we do in private assembly, where we gather in private worship. We gather, we, we, we um, exchange ideas, we exchange value for like kind value. And when we do that in that particular jurisdiction, no taxes are enforced on what we do. This extends all the way out to in terms of any assets that we accumulate in the whether it's the finance geek ministry or other ministries, any assets we accumulate together, no taxes. It's all qualified as what's called tax accepted status. That's what that 508 C1A jurisdiction is. So we are a faith based organization. And then within that faith based organization, our niche, our focus is what you what you all came for. For the most part, velocity banking, infinite banking and King authority. I have a lot of clients who are uh, coming from a faith background. So I touch on that in, in our calls here and there. But for the most part, it's those two strategies right there. You're trying to implement velocity banking. You're trying to put a policy in place, right? Trying to build tax free wealth. And these two concepts really help add to everything else that you're doing, right? Makes it very valuable. And so from there, we've got these solutions, the financial solutions, right? We're trying to achieve financial freedom and mastery over our money. And then for my clients who have businesses, business solutions, faith driven entrepreneurs, right? And creating success in our faith. You know, I truly believe that success starts with giving and surrendering, surrendering what you think you know about a thing and then giving to receive an abundance and be a cheerful giver. So success is not the amount of money you have, but but rather the the attitude behind it and who you give your service to, right? Ultimately, who do you serve? Who is your master at the end of the day? Is it man? Is it a thing? Or is it that creator, that manufacturer, the person that puts you together piece by piece, atom by atom, right? And, and really figuring that out. Um, now, our mother church, right? If you're familiar with church models, um usually there is a central main church like or in, in essence the origin like the first church right and then that church will have uh what are called church planters people who go out and they plant a church and it usually is identical to the mother church the original church All right so i go to a church called calvary chapel in uh, south florida and they're basically like a like a mini mega church right and they have churches all over South Florida, right? I think going as far as, as as high as West Palm, if I'm not mistaken, and as far south as Miami. But the um, the traditional church model is every other one of those plants have to abide by the rules and regulations, um, and they have to have the same branding and the same logo and the same sermons, right? Everything's the same, right? It's kind of like going to a McDonald's in Florida or in Texas or in New York, it's the, usually the same experience. Now, within here, within the kingdom, right, a little bit different. Because God made us so diverse, there's going to be people in here, like I said, who, who just worship a different way. And there's going to be people who speak differently. There's going to be people who think differently. So within our ecclesia here, our mother church is Icovest. Icovest is a faith-based organization. They're an ecclesiastical sovereign state. So I want you to think of Icovest literally identical to the United States of America, right? Or any other country for that matter. Icovest is a, it's a country literally set aside. It's, it's a state within a state. So Icovest is within the United States, 
operating by rule of necessity as a faith-based organization, or in other words, an integrated auxiliary trust, right? And there's a lot of other terms that, that you can learn uh, through this ministry. And so ICOVES is a ministry of finance. So is the Finance Geek. They have a process in terms of how they teach. So does Finance Geek. And it's similar, but it doesn't have to be exactly identical. What, what we agree on are the fundamental faith tenets that protect our ecclesiastical assets. That is unchanging because now you're dealing with law. But when you're dealing with culture, culture shifts, right? The way I talk versus the way you talk, like we, we that's the shifts. But when we discuss law, murder is murder, right? Stealing is stealing. Adultery is adultery. Versus, it works the same way when we're dealing with God's law. It, it's boom, unchanging, right? And so we have our, our faith tenets that we don't compromise. And then we very authentically deliver our purpose here on earth effectively. So ICOVES is the mother church. I'm leveraging the jurisdiction of ICOVES to do all of the things that I want to do here with, with my community, with my group and all of my partners. And over time, we will, uh, you know, learn and figure out how we can keep growing and expanding where we can have ministries of ministries of ministries of ministries, or in other words, businesses of businesses of businesses of businesses, right? Two different jurisdictions, kingdom, commercial, right? And all of us know how to operate in commercial. That's what we do every day. So ICOVES has their church. They gather on Mondays and Thursdays, 9 p.m. Eastern time. We're gathering twice a month. This is not meant to take away from the things that you already do. That's why I made it very, you know, uh, uh, achievable. From there, ICOVES has an academy called ICOVES Academy. This is where they create disciples. This is where they teach people about ecclesiastical law, ecclesiastical jurisdiction. Um, what is an ecclesia? What does it mean? Um, many other, I should say, kingdom protocols and kingdom systems that we can apply in the 21st century today so that we can live truly free from any government reign, whether now, 500 years from now, right? We, we can truly not be subject to any authority other than the authority of God, right? God alone. And then as people learn and they go through the academy, which is $21 a month, which is an honorable contribution, you're not paying for anything in the kingdom. Everything is exchanging value for value. So you're giving to the king and you receive wisdom through this process. And through that, ICOVES has covestments and they have three primary covestments and I'll I'll write them down so that we're clear. So ICOVES has AP1, right? AP2 and AP3. These are their three primary focuses right now as, as they're building, just like I have my three primary focuses that I continue to build upon. So AP1 is real estate, right? They are providing a real estate syndication opportunity where you can co-vest not invest but co-vest you cooperatively vest your fiat dollars into the kingdom and then the ecclesia which is the church comes together and acquires the real estate multifamily property within say the united states we're particularly looking at georgia as of right now for our area and so our our plan is to acquire a multifamily property, multi-purpose, where we can have businesses and rental on, on site, as well as other, you know, services. And that is going to remit wealth back to call it the tithers, the givers. So the members of the Ecclesia gather together. That's us. We co-vest our resources together and we build wealth together. And because none of us own the asset in our name, therefore, no taxes, completely tax-free wealth building. And then that money can be used in many different ways. And that's where I teach you the velocity banking, infinite banking, how to borrow and leverage effectively, right? Where no taxes are paid and only cash flow and wealth is built. So we've got what I've been teaching you guys for the last four years is how, is how to do velocity banking, infinite banking in your own household, personally, in your own name. But imagine if you could do that with a whole body of people 
coming together, equally aligned, like-minded people, all trying to help grow and become cheerful givers. Hmm, It'd be quite dangerous, right? Quite exciting too, might I add. So AP1 is real estate, you simply covest, give money, that money gets recorded in ecclesiastical records, and then wealth is then distributed once the asset is acquired. AP2 is a version of infinite banking called TOLI, which stands for Trust Own Life Insurance. Same thing I've been teaching you all is you're getting policies in your own name, right? Nothing wrong with that. But what if you could combine the cash flow you have and say 500 other people and we get multiple policies on members of the Ecclesia, right? Wouldn't we have more cash value and more leverage to say acquire more real estate or acquire another business, right? Of some sort that can generate cash flow, right? Tax free in the form of royalties back to members of the Ecclesia. And then AP3 is what we call a staking program. Very similar to some of the stuff you may have seen in the crypto space, where you literally would stake your cash flow, say funds. And then you would have, this would be for people who have a business idea. They want to start up a business to provide services in commercial jurisdiction. Well, through the staking program, you can actually receive up to 100% funding for the, the dollar amount that you put in, which is very interesting. Um, and that money must be staked for a year and 15 days, if I'm not mistaken. And then you'd be fully funded either throughout the process or right as the one year is over. I have to get more information on that. But these are their three main focuses, real estate, trust own life insurance, the staking program. What What's happening here is we're literally building our own country where we have our own banking system, our own credit system, our own lending system, our own insurance, right? We're, we're purchasing insurance from life insurance companies. The life insurance company provides assurance, right? They're assuring the insurance you're purchasing. Wouldn't it be so cool if you could go to the king and he provides the assurance because there's so much wealth in the kingdom, it's incomprehensible the amount of wealth that's available to us in the kingdom if we were to just simply learn the, the laws and the mandates and the protocols and the systems. So very interesting where we could have our own bank, our own insurance company that provides the assurance to insure its members, right? Pretty powerful stuff. So that's how that relationship is, right? I covest mother church, leveraging the jurisdiction, leveraging its people, its community, finance geek, leveraging them and it's we're interdependent on each other so i get to you know build my own brand and speak the way i speak and talk the way i talk and walk the way i walk in full authority and confidence and authentically share god's god's word right god's will right to the people and provide solutions now last thing i want to mention and then i'm going to pass the mic to alex because uh, he's going to share some really cool things that are also going on on the commercial side right because here's the thing we need both. You need commercial jurisdiction, and it is ideal to build wealth in ecclesiastical. But scripture talks about operating in the world, but not becoming of it. So this, what I'm doing here is teaching, teaching people how to operate in the world, but without having to sign adhesion contracts, right? That sign away your rights as a human being, right? We want to be able to operate in the world how we need to, but not have to surrender our rights to anything or anyone other than the king, right? The king of all kings. And there's a way to do that. Spiritually, it is taught in the church. So there's no question there that we, we can get that information from, you know, the churches of today. They teach the spiritual salvation and then the, the speaking and renewing of our mind. But then there's still the body, the body that can be trapped in these uh, uh, invisible chains that we have to break. Some of those chains or most of them involve the money, right? That's where a lot of our chains have us strapped. And that's why we implement these concepts to break many chains, okay? So some some new Finance Geek services that are coming, coming soon to a theater near you, right? Is uh, real estate. My mother has obtained her real estate license. So she is able to help people buy homes, sell homes. And if you're looking to rent, and this is anywhere in the US, 
Okay, she is a part of a really cool organization where she can provide service really to anywhere in the US. Um, so if there's anyone here on the live and then catching the replay, if you need a real estate agent, boom, come right to the finance key if you don't have one, if you're looking for one. The second service coming this way, a lot of my moms and dads are gonna love this service. This is a game changer that I never knew was a thing. I knew a, I knew about it and, and I knew it was possible, but like I didn't know there was a strategy or strategic plan out there and who was actually teaching it. So I recently connected with a uh, woman by the name of Denise Thomas and she's been on she's been a TEDx speaker. I mean, she's out there. She's no joke qualified, right? I've I've looked her up, had a conversation with her recently. It's a new relationship, okay? And she has a program that she works with middle school and high school students, but mostly with the parents and really showing them how to send their kids to college completely debt free through, you know, scholarships um, and other methods of acquiring the, the funds that you need to send your kids to college. So oftentimes I'm working with moms and dads, households, people who have kids and they're really really young right now say three years old five ten twelve and i have a bunch of clients who have kids that are already in college and so i see their numbers i see all the college debt that mom and dad has alone and then what they have to you know sign off on to get their kids into the college with those parent student loans or whatever it may be well what if you could know the strategy know how to find the free money that is out there to send your kids to, to college completely debt free. How much money that would that save you as a mom and a dad? Tens of thousands of dollars. In my opinion, that's a version of velocity banking, right? Leveraging OPM, other people's money, right? Other people's money so that you can achieve a, a result, right? So that is a service that is, is coming soon. Um, and uh, if, if that is something you're like, hey, I need to jump on that right away. I got kids, you know, sending them to school. One, one wants to go to this college, one wants to go to that college. Um, I'll send you the direct link uh, to that lady. You can set up a phone call with her. She'll take you and walk you through that entire process. I'm in the process right now of getting my health insurance license. Uh, so that'll be another opportunity there. I was just working with a couple that they were able to reduce their health insurance expense because I referred them to another uh, uh, partnership that I made recently, a gentleman by the name of Dapo. I don't think he's here. Um, I did ask if he could come. Let me look through the Zoom. I know there's like 20 of us in here. No, he's not here. So my friend Dapo recently connected with him. He's got a whole practice. Um, he helped a friend of mine reduce their insurance expense. He helped my mom get health insurance when she left her job. So um, great guy, great service. And then term insurance as well will be through him. Um, and then 